All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, got a lot of stuff to talk about today, man. We got annoying and T-Jack with their wager, how that all just fell apart. And it wasn't anybody's fault in the wager. It was all on 2K. We got D-Boy getting banned, getting into it with Neon a little bit, all that good stuff. And last but not least, we have how Court Conqueror completely ruined the weekend for anybody who wanted to play 2K. So... If you don't do anything else, man, make sure you like the video. It helps the channel grow. Get a video a like. Let's try to get the video to like 300 likes in the first hour or something like that, man. Don't cost you anything to hit the like button. Actually, you can be hitting it right now while I'm counting to three. One, two, three. Boom. You see how easy that was? That was awesome. So make sure you, uh, you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And we're going to get right into this video right after this. Lino! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me a savage. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that habit. Before we do anything else, I would like to put this up here. Breaking news! Falcons fans everywhere! Breaking news! The general manager Thomas Dimitrov and head coach Dan Quinn have been relieved of their duties effective immediately. Do you see how I'm glowing right now? Yes! We finally get the move. Look, bro, you can't come out and start 0-7 and 0-5 and, 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 and think you're going to maintain your job. I feel like Thomas Dimitrov hadn't been a good, really good GM. Look, the best thing he did... Like, we got some good pieces behind him, I'm not going to lie. I feel like Matt Ryan a good quarterback, or he's the best quarterback that we're going to be able to get. And when I'm saying that, I'm not saying he's the best quarterback in the league or none of that. I'm saying he's the best quarterback that we will be able to get. Who we going to get? You can't get Tom Brady. You're not getting uh, Pat Mahomes. You can't get none of them other guys. So, like, this, he's the best quarterback that, that we have available to us right now. And it just, it just is what it is. We got some good pieces. We got Grady Jerry. We got the, look, they did the best they could do. It was time to move on. And I'm excited as a Falcons fan to go ahead and move on. Now, do the right thing. Bring in an offensive mind, the mind behind Pat Mahomes. Hire Eric Bieniemy in some way, shape, or form whenever you can. I don't care if you go get him this week right off of under the Chiefs. Just get him right now. Anyway, go get Eric Bieniemy. Do the right thing. All right, now that we got that up, all that out of the way, look, man. Last night, T Jack and Annoying, they had a uh, they had a little wager going, and uh, halfway through the wager, they had already okay. So in the, before the wager even began, they had the rules set, and the rules was no post. Like you know the, the basic rules that anybody goes in: no post hooking, no uh, speed boost glitching, and no uh, curry sliding. Now they came back and renegotiated the curry slide out. And um, so they said, you can curry slide, but there's no post hooking and there's certainly no uh, no speed boost glitching. Annoying did the speed boost glitch a couple of times. He didn't know that he did it. He said he don't even know how to do it. He's like, what is the speed boost, speed boost glitch? Even though he said he banned it, I guess, you know, it's, it's one of them things where it's like, you just say, hey, look, man, we're going to ban it, but I don't know how to do it. Cause I don't know how to do the uh, speed boost glitch, and if I did it, it would it would just be purely by accident. But it's just like I, I would definitely ban it, so I can understand and I can believe that. But anyway, he banned the speed boost glitch, but then he he did some button combination that did it a couple of times. He said he don't know how he did it; it just was completely by mistake, and uh, thus you know they end up canceling the wager because it happened a couple of times. They were like, well, if it happens, we're not gonna kill the wager. What we're going to do is we'll just uh, we'll just reset the ball. And uh, come back and then, you know, we'll begin again or what have you like that. And then, so they agreed to that. But then he did it a couple more times. And then the norm was just like, look. And the norm was up. Or they were tired. They, they, the wager was tired at that point. It was two to two. So nobody had an advantage. And the norm had the ball and all that. He was just like, look, man. If it's going to keep going like this, I'm just going to. Let's just cancel the wager. And they cool with each other. They good friends what have you. So they just canceled the wager. No harm, no foul. But the whole thing is. Let, well, let's listen to T-Jack what he had to say about that whole thing first. Is, is this better or not? What he had to say about the whole thing first, and then I'll give my opinion on it. Using some, 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 a dev team to help us out here, bro. When we have something to complain about, when we want to fix something in the game, the dev team should listen to us and just literally simply fix this fucking exploit that's in the game. Or if the crabs are too overpowered and we're complaining about it, how about we fix that too? This would not, all of this shit right now, this wager would have not got canceled. None of this shit would be happening right now 
if we just had a dev team just to fucking fix shit when we need it. Hopefully in next gen, when we need when we need to fix stuff, let's fix it. How hard is it? Fortnite, they every time there's something going on in that game, they fix it. Can we just fix the exploits, bro? That's it. Fix the bullshit. And none of this shit happens. You know, you know what we could be using right now? We could be using some... some and I'm agreeing with T-Jack on that. Now, first of all, I don't advocate... I had to come back because I hit some shots from over there. I need y'all to see all of that. I, I, first of all, I don't advocate... Uh, what would you call it? Uh, gambling, any way, shape, form, or fashion, none of that stuff, man. I don't. And I don't feel like it's your right to be able to gamble or what have you. But I do feel like everybody has a right to a stable and working game that you can play. And if you choose to gamble on this, this game that's stable and working, it is what it is. Do what you will. But it's not about the gambling. It's just about the fact that, like, this, like he said, hopefully... This right here just shows that the game is not really in a playable condition in on any type of competitive front just because of the fact that you see Brute, you see Brute down with the gym stars, right? Y'all saw that, right? Hold on one second. Hold on, I, I need y'all to see. You see Brute, you see he's down with the gym stars. That's why he's doing jumping jacks right here. I, I know, Brute, I know you really want to be a gym star. If we're going to make Brute an honor, uh, honorary gym star, man, let me know down in the comment section. But anyway, this is the thing. We, we don't have, you don't have a right to have a game that you can gamble on, but you definitely have to have the right to have a game where you can play on some type of competitive front. Because as it stands, this game cannot be it cannot be played on any type of with any in any type of competition. How could we do it at, in 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 any type of capacity? If you go to Rec, you know what time it is. You're gonna get speed. Moves. You, you go to uh you go to uh Comp Pro Am. It's behind the back behind the back curvy slide uh speed boost. If you go to if you go to uh what what is it uh stage oh my god it's just like a free-for-all in there it's like bedlam it's like people literally using anything that they can use any advantage any exploit anything that pushes the line just in order to win like at least in wr and stuff like that if you're playing those games you can ban stuff out but the whole goal is to not have to ban things out you just want a stable working game not so people can 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 gamble but so that it can play it on some type of competitive front like as it stands you know what people do when it's when, when they want to try to do something on the competitive front or when it's comp or when it's any of that first thing they're going to do we are going to use the cheapest way to score no matter what because if i use something that, that, that takes skill i might not be able to score and thus I'll give up a possession and I'm not trying to do that. So, like I said, we, you may not, like stuff like that, throwing alleys and lobs and all stuff, all that stuff needs to be fixed. I'm glad we got a content creator that actually is calling out the dev team and telling them, hey man, we need a dev team that's gonna actually fix things along the way. Now, Fortnite, they are just working on one game and it's just one game all the time and they got those guys concentrating on that. I get that, but at the same time, it's just like, yo, this is, it, it definitely seems like the dev team was split this year at, at the very least. So if we can't get it this generation, can we at least get it next generation? Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Do we need a more stable games? What are some of the things that y'all feel like need to be taken out? I just say it, Alice. I said, I mean, you know, they need to be tuned a little bit. Speed boost glitch needs to be tuned a little bit. You need to be able to uh, play a little bit more effective paint defense like you could in the beginning. People couldn't just run in there and press square in the beginning, and they got mad, and so they tuned it because they felt like slashes were useless. And instead of you having to take a smart shot, I mean, a, a, a smart slash, or go to the rim smartly like we do, like, you know, when I'm taking a shot or what have you, I have to take smart shots. They want to be able to just rest the rim and not have to make a move around the rim and just just dunk on people just because he's in you're not just gonna dunk on somebody because he's standing in the paint just because that's like i'm not gonna just shoot in somebody's face just because he's standing there if, if, if that's what i was saying yesterday when i was talking about it it's got to be balanced if i got to step on you and i'm going to the rim by all means let him go if i go down to the rim and i take a step to the right and you commit this way and i go that way by all means but this stuff where the animation just takes you over as soon as they they begin that's nah that, that, that's that's trash anyway up next man we've got your boy D-Boy got banned somehow. I don't know what exactly happened, man, but going down, just going down a list and going about what, what they were saying in the comment section and stuff like that, it was just one of those things that was kind of weird. Um, and I just, I, I like, I was watching the stream because, like I said, I, I like watching stage because, like I said, they, it's like chairs. It's chairs. It's tables. It's uh, it's like a TLC match. Tail chat, tables, chairs, 
and ladders match, tables, ladders, and chairs match. They just, they just fighting. There's eyes, just everything. It don't matter. Anything goes. And then they sit there and get mad about the person doing exactly what they're doing. So I love it. So I'm watching D Boy stream on mute, of course. And y'all know why, why I got it on mute. If you watch any type of stuff, you know why I got it on mute. But anyway, I'm watching D-Boy stream, and all of a sudden, the stream just disappeared. And so I'm sitting here like, bro, what happened, you know, to uh, to D-Boy and his stream or what have you? And so I'm looking through, and I'm, I mean, obviously, I see he got banned. And then I go down like, what happened? And all I can find is him saying, you know, um, you know, I appreciate the love and all of that stuff like that. And he's like, I'm so sick, not again. And then uh, he says, over a watch party, going deeper into this whole thing, you see where it, uh, somebody says, somebody says that, oh yeah, get that, get center, it trades up, splash down. Uh, somebody says that he and Neon were arguing last night and it got deep. And then Neon started saying, don't worry, you got a couple of hours left. Uh, you got a couple of hours left. D-Boy, I guess he was inferring uh, D-Boy is about to get banned. And then he says, did you watch the stream last night? He got, he got him, uh, he got him banned. Neon said stuff that exposed D-Boy. That's why he's banned. And then uh, next up you had, uh, you, you got everybody, you got Neon coming back saying, everybody that said I got him banned on my mother's soul, my mother's strike dead, blah, blah, blah. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I have nothing to do with it. Me and D-Boy talked last night. Uh, I blocked him, he blocked me. What was that? I blocked him, he blocked me. We never talk again. D-Boy, if you uh, D-Boy, if you see this, keep your head up, bro. Now, I'm just gonna be honest with you and tell you that I don't know if I'm gonna take the word of somebody that faked their death like five times or in a situation like this. What do I think? Hey, I don't know what happened. But I'm just saying I'm not ruling out the fact that Neon probably got this man banned. That's all I'm saying. I really don't care to be completely honest with you. That's why I don't associate with toxic people. Because when you associate with toxicity, this is what happens. It's just like what Don Tripp says. When when you when you uh when you ride with vultures, you can't get mad when you when they start eating you when you die or something like that. It was something like that. I forgot. I forgot what the, what the actual bar was, but that's what it implied. If you running with vultures, you can't get mad when you die and they feast on you. That's just how it go, man. It's like, like you can't, that, that's just how the world goes, man. If you, if you lay down, like my mama say, lay down with dogs, get up with fleas, stuff like that, man. It is what it is. It sucks. I wish that it wasn't the case, but it's a valuable lesson, man. And hopefully this young man, when he comes back, he's able to change who he's hanging around and all that good stuff, man, because it just, it, it ain't no, it's, there's no point for that. Like, that's why I like when, when, when people want to get mad and stuff and they be want to hang around these people just because they got clouded. Nah, I, don't, I don't get into all of that stuff, man. I say, look, stay in my own lane. I ride with older people. I ride with grown people. And, and you know, stuff like that. Because I know how kids are emotional as hell and stuff like that. So I just stay away from that stuff. But anyway, y'all think Neon got him banned? What y'all think, man? I think he has something to do with it. Last but not least, man, we got this court conqueror. Court Conqueror ruined the weekend, man. We had to be in wreck all weekend. The park was dead because everybody's in Court Conqueror. It lasted like 72 hours. And it was the most, it's just the worst, the worst implementation of a um, of an event ever. Because you can't look down on it. You can't see what the scores are. You got to waste a lot of time going court to court, doing all of this stuff. And it's just, it's just not a good experience for anybody that's involved. And more than that, it just makes people not be in the park. So you can't even play the park. But we went to wreck and smack, and smack some people in the wreck and all this stuff, man. But I just feel like anytime I see Court Conqueror, it's just one of them things where I'm just like, bro, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, I, I, we know what type of, it's going to be a wreck type of weekend. Now, fortunately, uh, we smacking people in the wreck. And uh, let, me, let, me, let me go to this young, let me go to this uh, young Jay Easy twitter.com slash j easy let me just go to this young j easy post right here first of all good all good on this young man because like i said this was what well, this is the only one that i saw that was worth retweeting where how it started versus how it uh how it's going that's the only one all this relationship bullshit that everybody's putting out and stuff like that it is what it is man enjoy your relationship but uh let's see it 20 years down the line and uh yeah this is what we doing in the wreck right here and I'm keep getting keep keep getting accused of aimbotting, so I'm gonna show y'all how to shoot with the stick today uh, in this video. When this video get to 500 likes, I'm gonna put out a video on how to shoot with the shot stick and be able to do stuff like this. And last but not last, man, look, 
we got these Bronny memes, man. These joints hilarious, man. I ain't gonna lie. You're like, Jimmy, my bad kid. I did my best. You on your own now. That's crazy right now, man. Got that boy looking like Django. Yeah, it's almost time. But look at these memes, man. Y'all boys is crazy. They out of the field to win the championship. Job not done. They got this nicely. This, this not. Oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow. Oh, oh. <laughs> anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Is Bronny going to get that ass whooped? Or what? I, like I said, I, I told you what I really feel like is going to happen. It's going to be one of them things like my dad used to do with me. Hey, my mama told me to talk to you about this, but um, I, I really don't care. I don't got an opinion on it one way or another, but I got to do this because she's telling me to. So look, blah, 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 blah. But that's what I'm telling you for her, but this is the real deal. You just need to make sure you, the people that you hang around, those guys that did that, they don't mean you no good. They're just trying to get some clout off your name, tighten up that circle, hang around people that got something to lose or have as much to lose as you do. And then, you know, just do better, my boy. That's it. I think that's all it's going to be, man. He's probably already talked to him and stuff like that, man. I don't think it's nothing serious. But he probably suspended his social media for about, you know, two months and stuff like that. But other than that, man, I don't think it's going to be nothing serious. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Did, did Neon get D-Boy banned? Do, does 2K need to do better with this thing so we can have an actual working game? And uh, is Bronny getting that ass whooped? That's what I <laughs> Anyway, man, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. That's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Trip! Gosh,